Hi YouTube, Katie here with Vape Girl Review and today is the day. Today is the day we're going to talk about the Rollo RX200. Mitten Vapors provided this to me for the review for you guys and we're going to talk about it right after the introduction. Okay guys, so now that we're back, we're going to talk about the RX200 by Wismic and designed by Jabo. So when you get it, it's going to come in this box. There you go. There it is. This just slides right off. And there it is. Yours won't say mint and vapors on it, although they might if you ask for it. <laughs> But anyways, this just pulls right out. Underneath this is going to be your charger, which it does come with a charger. But mine's not in here, sorry. <laughs> and it's going to have your instructions. So, to fire this baby up, it's five clicks on. Like so. And then when it's on, if you want to go to the um, temperature control mode versus the wattage mode, you just click three times. One, two, three. Oh, there we go. One, two, three. And then this is in nickel, 460 degrees. And then one, two, three. There we go. There we go. And one, two, three. One, two, three. This is titanium mode. One, two, three. Stainless steel mode. Let me check on this thing. Let's show you. One, two, three. And we're back to wattage mode. So just by clicking this three times, which is one of the easier, you don't have to double hold press anything. Um, although when it is off, if you want it to face a different way, um, as far as whether it's facing right or left, when it's off, you do press and hold these two to switch it. So that is something to know if you're interested. I don't really care which way it faces. It doesn't bother me at all. So whatever. As most of you have heard, this chip, the 200 watt chip, is pretty cool. I like it, and I do like that it's upgradable. So down the road, they have it all able to be upgraded if technology does advance, which is fantastic. I think that's really excellent. With the RX200 chipset, it does go from 1 to 200 watts, so that's a nice wide range. And for the price point of being about $69, um, that's a 200 watt device, you know, that's pretty nice. It's a pretty great price, I think, in my opinion at least. It'll fire at 0.1 to 3.5 ohms. And as I said, it has full temperature control, so you can do titanium, you can do stainless steel, or you can do your NI200 nickel. So that's really awesome. It goes from 200 degrees to 600 degrees Fahrenheit. So this device really does cover a lot, which is pretty fantastic. So you know, with the price being $69, you really can't go wrong. I do think it's an excellent device. Now, I do have a con with it, and I will tell you that in a minute, but I do want to put that out there, that there is something that I'm a little frustrated about with this device. But before I get into that, we're going to talk about the LED screen. This is a 0.69 inch LED screen right here. And like I said, it's upgradable firmware, so that's pretty awesome. And then it does have JBO etched right there on the trigger button, which I think is cool since he did design this. It's pretty sleek, awesome looking. I do think it's kind of um, space age, but I will say this, it's a bit heavy, so it is not lightweight. I mean, you have three batteries in there, so you really can't expect it to be lightweight, but, you know, it is a little bit heavy, so someone who doesn't like a nice, big feeling uh, mod in their hands, this might not be the one for you, although for the price point and all that it does, it's pretty great. So, you know, that's just, that's going to be subjective. So some people might not want something so heavy, but some people don't really care like me. I, it doesn't matter to me, you know, but it, I can definitely tell when I put it in my purse. <laughs> it's like the hammer, I threw a hammer in my purse almost because it is, it is pretty heavy, guys. So I just want you guys to know that. The battery casing is magnetized. I have had no problems with the magnets or with this popping off. As you can see the batteries, they're right there. 
and I've got 3,000 milliamp hours, 318650s is what it takes, and it just pops back on, like so. No big deal. No big deal. Works pretty great. So the display face also, this needs to be mentioned, is recessed, and that means it comes in a little. So it's pretty flush. You can see this goes like that. So this, this trigger button comes out, and these come out, but for the most part, this is all in weird here, and I think, I think that's great. It does have vent holes on both sides, three there and three there. Yeah, I, I know guys, I'll be removing the stickers for safety reasons, so don't worry. Anybody's like, oh, you got stickers covering your holes. I will, I will be taking those off, I promise, I promise. <laughs> It does have a gold-plated contact pen, which I think is pretty neat. Um, but yeah, overall, I really like this device. Now, on to my cons. I mentioned one, how heavy it is. That That is a con, I think, especially for some girls. Um, and maybe some of you guys, maybe you don't want a big old thing. <laughs> I don't know. but And it is really big in your hands, especially if you have smaller hands, women. And maybe some of you guys. I don't know. But yeah, it is really big in your hands, and it is really heavy, uh, at least comparatively as far as some of the other mods that I've had um, it's definitely more heavy but there's three batteries in there guys it's three batteries um, other con I have don't let any e-liquid get on this baby oh my god so look I'm gonna show you I don't know can you see the paint is coming off paint is coming off here so yeah that sucks that really sucks and it's got scratches, and I'm not too rough on them, guys. I really do try to take care of my stuff. But, yeah, paint's coming off in several different places. Um, it's definitely gets, it definitely has gotten some scratches on it, and I just think that that is a little bit too easy to scratch it up, you know, and I don't think the paint should come off. Makes me sad. <laughs> I don't want the paint to come off. I want it to stay on. So those are my two big negatives, is how heavy it is and the fact that the paint is coming off. And I feel like it scratches easy. Um, the paint scratches easy. So, I mean, I mean, right there, I've got, it's just, it just bothers me. It just bothers me. And I think that it, it needs to be mentioned. So those are my cons. Now, if you're going to ask me, would I purchase this? Would I buy it? Yes, I would. And why? The reason why. The chip I think it's a great chip for the price, $69, it's a 1 to 200 watt chip. This baby, it does titanium, it does stainless steel, and it does Ni200 nickel, so I do think that it's an excellent device, and yes, I would purchase it. So that is my opinion. Now you guys probably want to see it fired up, so I'm going to put my, um, my RDA back on. I'm going to hit this at 70 watts because I like it hot. So there we have it. Nice, nice device. I really like this mod. Um, yes, I would purchase it. Um, yeah. So you guys, where you can get it, where this was sent to me from mittenvapors.com, M-I-T-T-E-N-V-A-P-O-R-S.com. That's where you can get this. It's $69, I believe. Um, and I do think it comes in two colors, black and then the white and green or white and blue or whatever. But I think they only currently have the black. So... That's something to note. Also, at Mitten Vapors with Vape Girl 20, you get 20% off e liquid. Now, that's not for this. You can't get 20% off of this, but you can get 20% off of your e liquid, so that's a plus too. But yeah, I'm going to take another hit because I, I really want to. Yeah, I think it's just a great device. I love it. I love it. And yes, I would buy it again. Yes, I would buy it again. But I am like a little bit, <laughs> I have a problem. I would buy lots of mods. <laughs> I would have like a wall of mods. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Take and grab, take and grab. But yes, this is my favorite currently. This is the one that I really love. The magnets never come undone. You know, the back cover never flies off. My hands never slide it off. I really like it. I like the nice big screen. And you can see what you're doing. 
You know, it tells you how many seconds you hit it, so. Well, I didn't look fast enough. <laughs> it tells you how many seconds you hit it. I hit it for, I hit it for 1.7 seconds that time. So it tells you that. So, I mean, it's just all around a great device. And yes, it is vape grill approved. It gets an A. Um, even in spite of the paint coming off and in spite of it being so dang heavy, it still gets an A. I still like it a lot. I love it and it is my go-to mod. And when the batteries die on this baby, I cry a little because I have to use that charger because I don't have a four, a four charging port yet. So that really sucks. <laughs> really sucks. Because I know that it's not getting the full benefit of a charge without that port. So that would be my recommendation for you guys is make sure you get a big charging port for your 18650 batteries so that you don't have to worry about plugging it in and rotating your batteries around and all this whatnot crap that you have to do or and or those who want to do. I mean, I guess you don't have to do it if you don't want to do it, but I do it <laughs> because I want to do it. So whatever. But yeah. Yeah, great, great device, great device, and you get it from Mitten Vapor. With the upgradable firmware, I think that puts so much potential, you know, for the future. I just, you know, I just don't see you going wrong. I, just, I think it's worth your money. I think it's worth the investment. And I know few of you didn't, couldn't wait for this review. I don't blame you. It took me like three or four weeks. We had two deaths in the family and funerals, and I haven't been feeling well. I'm not exactly sure what's going on, but whatever maybe the stress that's what my mother-in-law thinks the stress from the deaths in the family but so it took me a little bit longer than I had wanted it to take me to get this review out for you guys and for that I apologize but for those of you who didn't wait for the review and went ahead and bought yours leave a comment please on what you think of your device and and what you love about it and what you hate about it because I think that's great for other people to see other people's opinions so yeah please do that for me if you will I would really appreciate it that way, people get a full spectrum of ideas. So that's just my thoughts. You know, you can comment if you want to, or you don't have to, whatever. That's fine. So when you get your batteries, I do want to make a final note. When you get your batteries, make sure you get three of the same kind that are exact. The same brand, the same milliamp hours, everything. Make sure that you get three of the same. So that is that is just something you need to do, and that... Just be informed about that, guys. Just be informed about that. You can use other batteries, obviously, but when you're putting them in the device, make sure the three are likewise. Just if you're putting in three Samsung, make sure they're all three Samsung. If you're putting in LG, make sure they're all LG. You know, whatever. Just make sure that they all match and that they're all married batteries. You have to do that, guys. So those who don't know that, yes, you need to marry your batteries. They need to say, I do. They need to walk down the aisle. So that's that's important information that you guys need to have. When you get this, it does not come with your batteries, so you will need to go out and buy three 18650 batteries. It cost me $30 to buy three batteries. So, you know, you're paying 69 for the device, and you're also paying about 30 bucks for your batteries. So keep that in mind before you purchase. If, if you don't have that money to spend, then you might want to look at something else. Um, but it is worth it. It is totally worth it. I love this mod. I think it's fantastic. So, now that that's over, I do want to mention something. Do you see this? That is my awesome chalk drawing that my sister-in-law, Kelly, did for me. She has a store um, called For Not Just Anyone. And it's a store that she sells lots of different unique custom uh, really cool mugs, journals, you know, whatever, and she's talented. So I don't know, you guys might be able to get a hold of her for, you know, custom orders like this. Again, that's for not just anyone. And as far as the Rulo RX200, you can get yours from mittenvapors.com, and it's about $69, I believe. And you can also use Vape Girl 20 on eLiquid. Not on the mods, but on eLiquid to get 20% off of your eLiquid order. So don't miss out on that offer either. So yeah, that's all I have for you guys today. I hope you guys have an awesome day. Don't forget to like this video and also share this video so that other people can see this review. And please subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate it when you do subscribe. And for those of you who have already, 
Thank you so much for your support. I really feel your love and I really, really am grateful for you. All right, well, that's all I have. Bye now.